welcome the participants for today's Women's Doubles Championship Trophy presentation. Tournament Director Stacy Allister, USTA Vice President Kathleen Francis, and our host from ESPN, Renee Stubbs. Thank you very much, everyone. First of all, what a terrific women's doubles match we had today. Why don't you put your hands together once more for these four great competitors? I'd like to welcome the future of American tennis champions, 10-year-old Annabelle Wong from the Rocky Hill Tennis and Fitness Club, and eight-year-old Leon Contreras Arroyo from the United Diversity Tennis Association. Great job, kids. To begin our trophy ceremony, I'd like to recognize our chair umpire, Nacho Forcedel, to please come forward. Now, these guys won the tournament a couple of years ago, but unfortunately today, a little short. But I'd like to congratulate our finalists, Vera Zvonareva and Laura Siegemund. Guys, terrific tournament. I know you'd like to say a few words to your friends and family. Uh, well, hello everyone. Uh, thank you for coming to pay today and supporting our final. It was um, great and it was a pleasure to be on the court today, so thanks a lot. Uh, and of course, I want to congratulate Gabi and Erin with their first on their first Grand Slam trophy. It's amazing, girls. You did you played really good today and you really truly deserve this. Um, and I want to of course to thank my partner. We we won here in the past and we made the finals again. It's always a pleasure to share a court with you. Um, and I just want to, to thank New York City and USTA for putting this event, amazing event for us every year, and I love coming back here and playing in front of you. Thank you. I also want to thank you, Vera, first. Um, I, I think we've played some good tennis, and today the other two were just a little bit better, but I really enjoyed playing and having this great result with you. Thanks. Then I want to congratulate you guys. You played an amazing tournament. Not, not, not much to do for us today. We fought hard, but you just played too good. So congrats on your first title. Mm -hmm. First Grand Slam title. <laughs> Um, I want to say thank you to the USDA. I mean, US Open is always really special for us, for me. Um, we had, I think, grade two almost with the quality almost three weeks for me. Thank you to the fans that came out to watch this women's doubles final. It was just great to play with people again, not like in 2020. <laughs> so thanks for that. And um, then I want to say thank you to my team, um, <laughs> our team. Um, thanks for cheering us on, for supporting us, for all the, you know, scouting and coaching through the through all these weeks. I know these are long, long weeks at a Grand Slam, but that's what we're here for—to go far. So, thanks so much for the support. Thank you, Laura. I'd like to now invite Kathleen Francis from the USDA to present you two with your finalist trophy. Let's hear it for our finalists. And now, we'd like to hear from the champions. Aaron, Gabby, congratulations. <laughs> you had quite the crew here today, but I know you both like to say something to your people and all your friends and family. Um, first off, thank you guys for coming to watch today. This was so much fun to play in front of all of you. Um, we really appreciate it. You know, doubles is sometimes not the most watched, but we really appreciate that you guys came to watch and cheer for us, and we had an amazing time. So thank you so much. Um, Vera, Laura, you guys had an amazing tournament. Congrats. Um, 
you guys have won so many slams together and um, you played, you fought your heart out today and you had a really, really great two weeks. So congrats on a great two weeks. Um, thanks to Gabby for playing with me. Oh. Um, she really took a chance on me um, and I really appreciate it and love her for it. And obviously, um, you know, I hope that we can have many great results to come in the future. So thanks to Gabby. Okay, I'm almost done. And um, um, our team up there, our box, you guys were amazing. Um, uh, my coaches, uh, Harry, Bruce, Neil is in Auckland, Dan, you guys, I can't thank you enough. Um, my family, a lot of my family's here today. Um, everyone watching us, there's so many people watching us all over the world. Um, and then uh, just a special mention to Richard Huff, this is for Sue, I'd like to dedicate it to Sue. So, um, and oh, and my mom's watching too, sorry guys. <laughs> Um, wow. No, you did great. Um, first and foremost, thank you to Aaron. Uh, you took a chance on me too. It's been a tough year for us both. And um, I'm really, really proud of the way that we've stood by each other through Think and Thin the, the last two weeks. Um, I think we improved a lot even from the first tournament we played uh, back in Montreal. So I am so grateful that we've been able to work together and also for our team who has helped us. Oh my God, you guys are incredible. Thank you so much, Dan and Bruce and also my other coaching team, Andrea Rabzak, Pat Dasik, my dad back home. You guys are really the best supporters uh, anyone could ever ask for. I love you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much as well to my friends and family who ha have come in person and also who are watching. Um, it means a lot that you take a trip. Oh no, oh no. Did I do that? No, we're good. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm really nervous. Um, <laughs> thank you so much to everyone who came out and watched women's doubles. We hope you really enjoyed and we hope you keep watching because we thought we put on a pretty good show. Finally, a really huge thank you to Stacy and Eric and the tournament and everyone behind the scenes. This has been, in my opinion, the best US Open so far. You really made the players feel heard and seen and you made a lot of improvements that made us feel really special and so we really, really appreciate that on behalf of all the players. And finally, maybe the biggest thank you to the WTA training room <laughs> for keeping us together. You are the glue that keeps us players together and we love you so much. Thank you for all that you do for us in your really long days. Congratulations. I'd like to invite Kathleen Francis from the USDA once again to present the Champions Trophy to the US Open Champions of 2023, Gabby Dabrowski and Erin Routliff. In addition to the trophy, you will be taking home a check for $700,000. Well, it's a lovely Your paycheck, but it's a moment US that they will remember for the rest of their lives. The culmination of a lifetime's work. And they hardly knew each other a few weeks ago. Now, best friends forever. They are the US Open champions. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.